Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your Monday, August 24th. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid, so just because this is a reading dated for the 24th of August, it does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So <clears throat> I hope you guys had a good weekend. My thoughts and my prayers go out to those of you in the Gulf of Mexico, also in Florida. Um, you've got Laura and another storm that I don't know the name of coming at you this week. So prayers, thoughts and prayers go out to you. I hope you guys are okay. I hope you guys are end up okay and are safe and all that. Laura hit Puerto Rico um, Saturday. Uh, luckily though, where I am on the island, we didn't get hit very hard. Um, I mean, we lost power and everything, but like, whatever. That, we, we were expecting that, but um, the south of the island got hit pretty hard, and that's most likely, that's normally where most of the power comes from. So that makes perfect sense. But um, the south of the island got hit, but where I am on the west end in Rincon, we didn't, we didn't get hit that hard. So we kind of lucked out there. It did ruin our weekend. Like me and my friend Aaron were just sitting there on the couch all day <laughs> waiting for this storm to happen. But, um, but it did pick up some strength and then it sh went sh from Puerto Rico, it went over to, it went up towards uh, the Dominican Republic and they got hit pretty hard. Like they got, it like literally went right over them. But anyway, I hope everybody's okay. Um, yeah. I don't have a story today. I'm getting cats. Oh, okay, I'll tell you this. So, um, my friend Erin, she has a cat that had two litters, and I'm getting two cats from her. One from each litter that Mama Kitty had. So, I'm getting Jinx, who was part of the first litter. That's my pretty girl, my Jinxie. And then I'm getting the her one of her brothers from another litter, who has been named Olaf, um, and I said that I was going to have like a naming party for them on the channel, or for it, for him on the channel, but I came up with a name for him, and his name is going to be Orion, so I'll have Jinx and Orion, that's exciting, right? I'm super excited. I love animals. I grew up with cats, actually. Um, we got, ooh, that's a creaky chair, we, <laughs> we got Missy when I was a baby because <clears throat> we lived in Far Rockaway, or, uh, uh, yeah, we lived in Far Rockaway, and um, that's in Queens, New York. It's right on the beach, um, and there were mice. And my grandmother, Guma, I, I, I couldn't say grandma when I was a baby, and so, I, and so I said Guma, and it just stuck, so she was Guma. So Guma got um, Missy. She was, she was a stray cat, um, and so Guma took her in, and then my mom took Missy because we had mice. Um, and I was a baby and my mom was not having it. So <laughs> so I grew up with cats. And so then we had Missy for years until she finally, we actually had to put her down because she ended up getting cancer um, that went from her sinus all the way into her brain. It was bad. Um, but then we, so we had Missy and then later on we got Lucky. <laughs> I loved Lucky. Lucky was a boy. And we had Lucky for years until he finally passed, just of old age. Um, but, but okay, so we had Missy, and then we got Lucky. And so we had Missy and Lucky, and then Missy passed, and then we just had Lucky. And then we got um, Jasmine, who my parents still have. She's, <laughs> I love Jasmine. But, but Jasmine was more my sister's cat, Christina. Um, and so, and then Lucky passed, and now we still, and my parents still have Jasmine. She's like, I want to say she's like 14 at this point. I'm like, damn, girl. And she still looks like a kitten. I mean, like, she's an old, she's an old bitch, but <laughs> she's, I mean, like, she's adorable. I love Jasmine. So anyway, I love cats, and so I'm, I'm getting cats, and then I want to have dogs, too. At one point, when I was with my ex, I had three dogs and two cats, and it was fantastic. I loved every second of it. So... Yeah, story time. Okay, so.
so for, I want to say for this week, oh, oh, actually, I do have to tell you guys something. So this week I'm going to be working on the monthly readings for September. So I'm not going to be taking any new, in, uh, any new private readings. I'm not going to be scheduling them this week. If you want to get a private reading, you're more than welcome to email me. Um, and I'll put you, I'll put you on the list, but uh, I'm not going, other than the readings that I have already booked and have already been paid for, I'm not going to be taking any extras. So if you want to get on, uh, if you want to get a personal reading, please email me. Uh, the information is in the description box below, but just know that I'm not going to start booking those until after the 1st of September, because I want to make sure that I have these monthly readings out and ready to go for you guys. Patreoners, I'm so sorry I haven't been around as much as I normally want to this month. It just hasn't happened that way. Um, I'm going to try to get you guys some extra readings, some after hours sessions. Um, and I didn't do, unfortunately, I didn't do the Oracle reading yesterday for the Patreon Collective. Um, but I, I didn't really have the time to because I got home. I stayed at my friend Aaron's on all day Saturday, well, Friday and Saturday. <laughs> And then I got home um, Sunday, yesterday, and I had to redo my nails and all that, and I didn't have enough time to do both, sorry. So I did the weekly chicken chat, but I'm sorry, Patreoners, if you feel slighted. Please don't hate me. Um, it's just been it's just been crazy lately. So that's the deal with that. I'm gonna be working on the monthly readings this week. Um, if you wanna get a personal reading, you're welcome to email me, but I'm j just know I'm not gonna start scheduling those until after the 1st of September. Um, but then, for at least for today, but I feel I kind of feel like I want to do this for the week. I've decided to go back to the first deck that I used when I started Morning Coffee, like over a year ago now, like oh, way over a year ago. I wonder, when are we hitting two years? I think we're hitting two years in October, you guys. I think I first started Morning Coffee in October of 2018. Oh my god, <laughs> the morning coffee is almost two years old, but I'm just going with this deck this week, or at least today. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but it's the Beautiful Creatures Tarot. I love this deck. I got this from a friend, from Patty. I don't know if you guys remember. I miss Patty. I should, I should hit her up and see how she's doing, but Patty used to be around all the time when I first started my channel, and we became very good friends, um, but then, you know... As normal, she fell off the, the tarot train, which is fine. That happens all the time. You know, people come and go. It's so, like, whatever. But I, I, I don't know. Patty, if you're still watching. Hi, I miss you. Anyway, Patty gave me this deck. And that's what I used for, I started using for morning coffee. And so I decided to do that. Yay. Okay. All right, enough story time. We're almost 10 minutes in. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, here we go. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, August 24th, 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, kids, five shuffles, one. Oh, you guys wanna hear something funny? <laughs> so my mom's name is Laura, and I didn't know, this is shuffle number two, I didn't know that the storm was named Laura until I posted a picture mentioning, you know, it's the calm before the storm, brace yourselves, kids, because we're, it looks like we're about, we're in for like a direct hit. My mom, I posted it on Facebook, this is three. My mom, <laughs> she left a comment saying, hey Eric, I'm coming to the island sooner than expected and I'm bringing tons of water. I'm like, mom, I, I love you, you're hilarious. <laughs> but I didn't realize that it was named Laura until she said that. <laughs> it was funny. Um, is this three? Oops, three. Four. And five. All right, kids. Okay, okay, chicos y chicas. Let's see what we've got for today, August 24th, 2020. What's going on with you guys today? What do you want to talk about today? 
interesting because um, okay. Interesting. All right. Overall energy, we do have the chariot. Now, the first thing that I saw when I was connecting to the collective, when I was doing like the little prayer section, I saw orange and I saw yellow. I saw orange mainly. Um, and the first card that's come out here is the moon. And I feel like you guys are dealing with some sort of emotional baggage um, that I do think you're gonna overcome though. You have the six of wands here. You also have judgment. You have a lot of, you have a lot here, but this is sandwiched in between those two. So don't go there yet. Okay. Um, you have the moon so far, the six of wands and judgment. Now, I, 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 <clears throat> Spirit just said there's emotional cleansing, clearing. There's emotional clearing happening. Um, and this may have been a situation in which you were, were trying to keep up appearance for a while. You were trying to make it seem like you weren't upset about something or something wasn't bothering you. Um, but there's also, I'm going to be honest, there's also a level of deceit, um, maybe even denial that I'm feeling here. Maybe maybe you've been putting on a brave face um, in order to keep up appearance, but I don't think, I, I don't really think you can do that any longer because at this point you have judgment here, which is kind of asking you to face the music. Come to terms with something, come to the truth, see the truth about something. Um, at the bottom of the deck, you do have the chariot. Um, and then underneath that, you have the seven of wands and the emperor. I, mm, I don't really feel like this is all that bad, to be honest, but let's get into what this pile is. You have the eight of pentacles. Okay. Yeah. The eight of pentacles with the knight of cups. But then that's also with all of this stuff here. Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. I feel like you guys were holding on to something too tightly. And you were in denial about it somehow. There, 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 there's some sort of some level of denial that I'm picking up on here, and that's uh, normally the denial is represented by the Two of Swords, right? But here it's represented by the Four of Pentacles. You have the Queen of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, but then finally you have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like there's some sort of realization of something that needed to be let go of. Uh, the strongest thing I'm feeling is a partnership. A relationship um, and someone for the longest time kept moving forward as if everything was okay but it wasn't okay there was something that needed to change there was something that needed to be let go of but see <laughs> here's where the ace of swords is really kind of a double-edged sword because yes having to let go of something having to cut something away is painful but also when you really let go of this, then you truly do have a victory here, Six of Wands. And it sets you into a greater sense of alignment for yourself, the Chariot, because now you no longer have something holding you back. Chariot with the Seven of Wands and the Emperor. The Emperor is an energy of being the master of your own domain, making a decision for yourself that's right for you, um, taking control of your life, taking control of your circumstances. And I feel like that's what you've done here. It doesn't mean that there isn't still a level of grief. Okay, sure, we understand that. But I think there was more grief involved in this situation when you were denying the truth. But now there's no denying the truth any longer. Ace of Swords. Let's get some clarification. Five shuffles, one. Two. Three. Four. And 
and five. Oop, come on now. Five. All right. Um, the first thing I want to clarify is the six of wands here. Because in a way, how this feels, it feels a little contradictory. And I feel like you might be like feeling it's contra contradictory. I kind of feel an energy of how could this possibly be a victory for me? I've been trying to fight this for so long. I've been trying to fight losing something or having to let go of something for so long. How, how, how could this possibly be a victory for me? Well, think about it this way. If you're holding on to something that no longer belongs to you or is not really yours to begin with, thinking that you have to hold on to this, you're only allowing whatever it is you're holding on to to take up the space of what truly could be or what really is meant for you. So yes, this is a victory by letting it go because you're now in the process or now able to clear the space for that which truly is meant for you to come in. Six of Wands. Tell us a little bit about that, please, Spirit. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Something is complete. Something is done. Um, oh, see, look, guys, come on. You have the Empress with justice and the Page of Cups. I mean, the Empress represents abundance. Justice represents what? Oh, justice, okay. And, <laughs> and then the Page of Cups is like a new emotional reality. Um, maybe even an offer, okay, we could say that, but I think what I feel like here is this page of cups is you getting back to a sense of yourself or getting back to your inner child. I feel like something was stifling your inner child here. Your sense of wonder, creativity and fun and adventure and, and playfulness and, and just pure joy and happiness for no other reason than just being happy and joyful, you know? Something was stifling you here, for sure. I actually want to go a little bit deeper into this Page of Cups. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Page of Cups, please, Spirit? Mm-hmm. Now you have the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles and now the Two of Cups. So either this is an opportunity for you to really get back into a sense of your own self and get back to that harmony or even get into that harmony with the Two of Cups of the masculine and feminine within you. Or, or this is whatever, whatever victory here is received by letting go of something, this is actually going to allow you to bring in the partnership that you want, Page of Pentacles, Two of Cups. For some of you, I feel very, for maybe a very small few of you, or maybe just like one or two of you, it, as soon as you really let this thing, whatever this relationship is, go, you've got someone else coming in saying, hey, I can fit the bill. This might be twin flamey. This might be a twin flame situation. Or at least what's commonly known as the twin flame situation. Six of pen six of swords to the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You guys are moving towards greater reciprocity. Whatever it is in your life that was holding you back, that was stifling you, was not reciprocal. Okay, with that said then, let's talk about the ace of swords here. <clears throat> Swords, please, Spirit. All right, well, we have the Chariot so far at the bottom of the deck, and it's coming out twice because it's at the bottom of this deck too, all right? Um, uh, something has cleared the way for you to get into greater alignment, and yeah, this really could be a twin flame situation. 
I know for sh I know myself. I went through it. Um, I'm over it now. Uh, but it doesn't mean that I don't still walk the path, and it doesn't mean that I don't still talk about it when it's necessary, because we're all going through this shit, right? But the Ace of Swords here, whether this is a twin flame or not, with the Ace of Swords here, there's some sort of knowledge or wisdom or understanding or truth that you're coming to, that you're starting to see you're starting to see the real truth in some situation and don't get me wrong i feel it it's not pretty it hurts i get it i get it it hurts but honestly this is this is putting you into direct alignment it's almost as if you can think of this you can consider this as like growing pains or like the pains of having to shift in order to really stand up and stand in your full true power i mean that's not easy it's painful. There are things that have to be cut away from your life. There are things that have to be changed in your life. There are things that have to be let go of. Ooh, we're going to talk about that next. But let's see if we can get a little bit more on this Ace of Swords. Watch that be the sun. Watch that be the sun. Yup. Yup. It's the sun. And it's in reverse. And it fell out on the Empress over here, which is clarifying the Six of Wands. Yes, this is, in, as, and in, as I was describing it this way, this is kind of an energy that I felt, okay? Um, <clears throat> the sun is here, and it's illuminating something for you, something that you've needed to see for a long time, something that needed to be illuminated a long time ago. But the sun is blinding, the sun is glaring, and the sun burns. So yes, it's the best card in the deck, it's the most optimistic card in the deck. No matter what comes out, when the sun is here, it's always a good thing. Or there's always some sort of positive, some sort of happy ending or some sort of silver lining. Right now though, the way you guys are feeling or the way somebody is feeling about it is, this is not, you don't wanna see the sun like this. But something is being illuminated for you. When the sun comes through and illuminates something for you and burns you like this, yes, it's painful. Yes, it sucks. Yes, you're gonna have to treat that burn for a little bit, but it's one of the best things that could ever be illuminated for you in your whole entire life. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Wands. You have an opportunity to move forward somehow, but I feel like you're resisting it. I just heard, I, don't wanna, I didn't wanna see life this way. You didn't want to see life this way. So you didn't want to see life as it truly is. You didn't want to see the reality of the situation. You didn't want to see what's really going on in front of you instead of just what your rose-colored glasses showed you. I mean, I don't mean to be a bitch, but... Excuse me? <laughs> I know, look, I know. Some of you, some, look, for some of you, the Band-Aid is being, like, completely ripped off right now. Like, no compassion, no empathy, or at least it feels that way. And you might be feeling like you're getting pummeled. Absolutely pummeled. <laughs> so, but ultimately, this is a good thing. Because it's showing you what you need to see. It's showing you what needs to be realized here in order for you to be safe and happy and healthy and for you, in order for you to really move on. But this is why you have to face the music. Judgment. Because until you do, you're still going to be stuck here, four of pentacles, holding on to something that, for dear life, that really doesn't fit you. So let's talk about this then, four of pentacles. pentacles ace of cups eight of swords love yourself enough to let yourself out of this mental prison to let yourself out of this cave cage Ooh, either a cage or a cave love yourself enough to dig yourself out from under the rock you've been sleeping under the sun in reverse you gotta let you gotta let something go you got to love yourself enough to let something go and know, you know what, I know this is not right for me, or I know this is hurting me, or I know this hasn't been a really beneficial situation for me, so I'm going to move forward with my heart on my sleeve. I'm going to follow my intuition. 
the high priestess. I don't know exactly where I'm going, but I know my heart is leading me somewhere. And that's, in the, that's the direction I need to go in. The chariot. Again. You guys, I know this sucks. I know this sucks. I really, I, I know it. I feel it, okay? I, I feel your pain. I understand. But at the same time, you've been under an illusion. The moon. Or at least something was being hidden from you. And quite frankly, if you're dealing with someone or a situationship or like a, a, a partnership relationship or whatever that's being secretive, like, okay, I understand not wanting to like give all of your secrets away or, or, or completely let someone in 100% immediately. But if you've been in this situation for some time now and this person is still keeping things from you, like, what the fuck, dude? No. Nah, bro. Nah. I want to get one last shuffle. Um, and I just want to get some closing advice for this situation. I'm not going to try and clarify. Well, I could. Let's talk about judgment. Let's talk about judgment for... Come on. No, you don't want to... You don't... You, no. Okay. Well, judgment is going to be the focus of this closing message from the tarot here. I was What I was saying is that I didn't necessarily want to clarify anything, any other cards specifically out here, but then my attention was drawn to judgment. And so I was going to clarify that one specifically, but they're saying, no, no, do it in the context of the whole situation, not just judgment. Um, it's by itself, but in the context of the whole situation. So this, I think, what we're going about to look at here is what you really need to face. The music that you need to listen to, the, the, the scene that you need to be aware of, the awakening that you need to go through, the, the rising above in terms of this situation, okay? Close the message, please, here. You have temperance at the bottom of the deck. Patience, understanding, patience with yourself. There's the denial. Two of swords. And that fell out on this pile here that has the sun in reverse and the ace of swords. There's the denial right there. Somehow, shit, somehow y'all have been activated. The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands to me is the light worker, is the activation, is being illuminated, is having a torch to bear, uh, 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 being a torch bearer, being some sort of light worker or some sort of illuminary, someone that that shines, someone that is authentically themselves, and yet you're resisting being that authentic self. <clears throat> Ten of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Hermit all in reverse because of this Two of Swords, this denial. And with temperance at the bottom of the deck, spirit is asking you, number one, to be patient with yourself and patient with the process, but also to allow yourself to heal, to integrate, to be who you truly are. The, the universe is asking you to integrate, face your shadow. Underneath temperance, you have the fool. And underneath the fool, you have the three of pentacles. You've got to take the leap of faith and do the work on yourself. You've got to start doing the healing work because you're not going to get what it is you truly want, deserve, or need. You're not going to get what this chariot energy would be leading you towards if you don't do the soul searching, the deep diving, if you don't allow yourself to be independent, if you don't allow yourself to let go of the burdens. That's the only way you're going to reach your satisfaction. Nine of Cups. And yes, that's a tough lesson to learn. The Hierophant. But you have got to make a decision here. A decision to close out a cycle. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Um, Oracle Guidance is going to come from Beyond Lemuria. 
but I have to start a new file, so hold on a second. Okay, all right, here we go. Oracle guidance to close out this reading. Three shuffles, about one. The hell? Mm. <laughs> this is two. And this is three. Closing message, please. Clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you have the solar plexus chakra, and that is yellow energy, the yellow energy that I was seeing when I started the reading for this collect for this reading for the collective here. Um, but then you also have, wow, all right, you have heart chakra, and then you have water. And so this really, you, okay, so funny, funny enough, or interestingly enough, when I was starting the, the, the reading for the collective, I saw orange mostly, but then that all, I also saw yellow. Orange is the sacral chakra, orange is your emotions. And remember in the beginning of the reading, I said there's some sort of emotional cleansing, clearing, healing, or maybe even a reckoning that's happening. Um, that's, and that's allowing you to take control and move forward with what you want. Move forward with your own sense of willpower towards something that is better or in more alignment with you, or, uh, with the solar plexus, and which is ultimately allowing you to access your heart, heart chakra. But the real message for you here is water. So let's read that. You guys, this. This card is like so perfect for this situation right now. Water, the overflow. Abundance, non-attachment, the paradigm of no scarcity, allowing financial and energetic gifts to flow through and create more. During one of my most pivotal Lemurian visions, I was guided into a life where I lived in a humble mud hut. As I could, as I could create any thought in the multiple dimensions that I had access to, I simultaneously resided in a beautiful crystalline palace. I found myself in a paradigm where I could create anything at will, and thus there was no concept of scarcity nor the need to hold on to anything. This experience initiated a shift that changed my life. We may only be starting to touch on this notion in our mundane reality. When we give more from a place of overflow than obligation, even when we think we have nothing, having it come from this mindset can only create a more abundant flow of what we want. The being in this picture has many hands, and yet still the water is allowed to fall, fall through her fingers. It blesses her in the moments it touches her radiant skin and then continues on its journey. Her heart is also overflowing with love. Her eyes are filled with tears. She allows what comes through to move her without control. She gracefully allows whatever she is feeling to be expressed. And as she does so, she radiates so much light into the world. The themes for this card are allowing for flow, receptivity, the path of least resistance, purity, Clearing away that which no longer serves an emotion. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Cool. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>